Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, I'm going to talk about how you can, if you use the um, Neat Video Noise Removal Plugin in the, for various applications, you can actually use a calibration chart, um, a little known feature of this um, plugin, and uh, you can actually download it to your uh, computer device or print it out. Uh, you have two versions, one for color printers and one for grayscale, and uh, just to give you an idea right here. Uh, and then you would simply put it in the shot of uh, the uh, video that you're going to be using and uh, very much like a regular color chart for white balance and other things and um, which we've actually done now and uh, let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro 10 here and uh, we got the chart done right here and uh, they do suggest you do it slightly um, defocused. Um, you don't want sharp focus on this because you want to focus in on the video noise rather than the hard edges of the focus. Uh, in fact, they uh, I think they say something you can use uh, infinity or macro version. I just simply uh, defocused um, it. And uh, let's go ahead and add the uh, uh, neat video noise plugin just like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select it and uh, now obviously you need to put the chart in uh, to fill up the screen as much as possible which we did here and we're simply going to click on auto profile and here it selected the frame now it's not quite as best as it could be so we're going to enlarge it just like this we're going to go ahead and click auto profile again and here you can see we got 82% which is a very high percentage and the graph sim uh, almost completely in line with, with uh, one another which is great and now we're going to simply go to profile and save as and then we're just simply going to save it as C100 and uh, we're going to click save uh, we're going to go ahead and replace my old profile just like so now we're not going to go ahead and uh, remove video noise from this particular shot. We only did this to uh, show you how you save the uh, video noise profile. Um, keep in mind as well that um, it won't wor work in all situations. Um, particularly it works well in the studio and preset shots, not uh, run and gun situations like events and so forth. Uh, we're actually going to apply that uh, video plugin to uh, this screenshot right here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and add that just like so. Uh, open up the uh, neat video noise plugin right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on load profile, the one we made earlier, which was the C100 uh, DNP. We're going to open that up. And as you can see, it's. Uh, since we uh, did this earlier in the same lighting and you also need to do this for each um, ISO setting in this case I use the native ISO uh, 850 which per worked perfectly for just the right amount of um, native ISO and exposure so we're going to go ahead and click apply just like so and then it'll just take a minute for the uh, neat video noise creator to uh, kick in just like so. So that's how you can use uh, neat videos calibration chart to um, as uh, additionally to uh, noise remove noise from your uh, your video um, because normally the way it works it takes large portions uh, where there's any no not any movement and other things sometimes that's, that's not, not the easiest way of doing it so that's why they provide a um, chart uh, one for color printers and one for black and white we simply used our iPad so uh, thanks for watching this uh, tutorial video and I uh, hope to see you uh, in some of my other videos thank you